right, Hollywood is up early for the 90th Oscars nominations announcement. Actress comedian Tiffany Haddish and actor director Andy Serkis made the announcements from the Academy's Samuel Golden Theater in Beverly Hills. Yeah, CBS2 Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is here to talk about some of the big categories this morning. Yes, how exciting! I know it's so exciting because mm -hmm, this I is really that. the big award show. You mm -hmm. get up for an Oscar, it changes your life potentially. Yeah, and certainly your bank account. <laughs> You're right. Your you can demand yeah. a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. So You're right. So lots yeah. of people in Hollywood are waking up to calls of congratulations for their Oscar nominations this morning. And here's a look at some of the top nominees. We begin with Best Picture. The Academy can pick up to 10. There are nine that made it. Here we have them. Call Me By Your Name, Darkest Hour, one of Sharon's favorites. Yeah. Dunkirk, love Christopher Nolan. Get Out, which is a different type of movie. It's kind of like a horror film making Best mm -hmm. Picture nomination. It's pretty great. Lady Bird, a beautiful coming of age story. Obviously, you can tell I'm rooting for that one. The Post, Steven Spielberg, Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks. We're going to see them all at the Oscars. They're, yes, I'm you sure. kind of need to see them at the Oscars, right? Do you think there was any uh, um, lean toward Greta Gerwig because of the current Time's Hulk? up? Yeah, oh, because absolutely. of Time's Up. Yeah, yeah. and, and we're actually not seeing James Franco mentioned I was just at all say. Yeah. because of that. I mean, yeah. we had five women coming forward accusing him of sexual yeah. misconduct. So yeah. well, clearly they listen. I wonder hey, if anybody who can make a movie about Sacramento and get an Oscar <laughs> nod, she's got my book. And I can say that because I'm from Sacramento. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, sure. I related with it, uh, too, because I grew up in a small town here in SoCal. Yeah. And I remember that feeling of kind of being an outsider, wanting to be with the yeah. cool kids. So yeah. I no, completely relate. No surprise that Alice and Janney got a nomination. And it's her first Oscar yeah. nomination. Yeah, there's this a lot is, of buzz. Yeah, around such her a big deal for her. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see her reaction. She always has such great statements. She? Yeah. yeah, she made we great commentary you, at the sorry. SAGs. Huh? We interrupted oh, you. Go oh, ahead. I really sorry. got into no, no, it. No. I'm sorry. Okay, so where should we go back to? Should we go back to, um, oh, Shape of Water, which has a ton of nominations? Guillermo del Toro won the Golden Globe and the Critics' Choice Award. Okay, let's move Jordan on. Jordan Peele. Yes, Jordan first, Peele. Oh, it is yeah. his first. Directing nomination. Okay, I think okay, we're, we're a still off. looking at Best Picture. Here we go. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. We don't leave them out. And Phantom Thread, which was mostly ignored by the other award yeah, shows. I've so yet to see that. I haven't either, which I love Daniel Day Lewis. This mm -hmm. is the role that made him quit acting. Yeah. So I need to see it. We have a, a little over a month to watch it, so we're not behind. We're cool. Okay, so let's get to Best Director. This is my favorite category because we're seeing so many changes. Christopher Nolan. He's incredible. Hollywood loves a war movie. Jordan Peele, up for Get Out, yes. Greta Gerwig, yes, double yes. Paul Thomas Anderson, by the way, he grew up in Burbank. So, he did? yeah, mm -hmm. written for that local guy. And Guillermo del Toro, of course, already mentioned him. Now, let's move on to Best Actor and Actress. Do we have that? I'm sure we do. Maybe okay, we don't. Maybe we don't. Well, then. Oh, no, we oh, have we our have video. Okay, well, let's let's show you the shape of water here. A throwback love story with a sea creature. What would I say? And it's getting lots of love this morning. Sally Hawkins, Guillermo del Toro. And then let's move to the next film, shall we? I know we have a little bit more video coming up. Ignore what's in the prompter, folks. It is early, and we are getting... There we go. There Get we out. go. Get out. Now, Daniel Kaluuya is nominated. And I know Tiffany Haddish had a little trouble saying his name this morning, but you know <laughs> Tiffany what? Haddish has a, a lot of trouble with every name. You know, and you know, whenever people screw up names, like um, a few years ago with uh, John Travolta, nobody forgot their name after that. So, true, true. yes, so Daniel Kaluuya. Now, let's move on to three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri uh, for Best Picture, Best Actress, Best Supporting Actor. This is, to me, I... This is, I'm going to call it this morning. I think it'll win Best Picture. You we'll think? see. We'll right. see. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I, ho I also yeah. love Lady Bird, Get Out, but I think that this is kind of like an actor's film, and mm -hmm. all of the characters are so rich and so yeah. wonderful. Loved and, Woody. I, I love the fact that Woody Nelson, uh, Harrelson yeah. got a nomination for Best Supporting Actor because yes, he, he was fantastic was in that movie. Yeah, if you haven't seen it, yeah. you really, that's the movie to see all season to me. Okay. Just calling it. 